Okay, so on this SVG sheet, what I want to give you is the ability to circle uh, one of the uh, areas that you think you are if you're self-assessing or you're assessing a different student's work. So the way to do that in a Google Doc is to go insert and then choose image, all right, sorry, drawing and choose new, all right. Um, I'm going to make a circle. So very simple, go to shapes, slide over to use circle, okay. Here's where you can get a little fancy. The default is a fill color here. This one's light blue. You can switch it to gray. You can switch it to pretty much any color that you want. Um, but we want a soft color in here um, so that it's semi-transparent when we bring it in. So I'm gonna click save and close. You can make this whatever size you want. If you wanna get fancy with making it an image or a text box, you can get fancy with some of these if you want to. I'm just gonna make mine a basic circle for right now. Save and close, okay? So I need to make some adjustments to this though. So first things first, I'm gonna choose behind text, okay? Next, I'm gonna choose fixed position on the page, all right? And then now I'm gonna resize this. And let's just say um, that I'm assessing my work or someone else's work at a two, approaching proficiency, by the way, before you start this, you should have read the descriptors and you already know which one you want to put it on. So then I'm going to drag, I'm going to drag the circle to the one that I want it to be. Okay. And as you know, if you set those two things up, all right, uh, it should be the size and the shape that you want it to be. You can play with the sizes here. All right. Um, but when you're done, you should have that area that you think is assessed at that level done okay and then just click off of it when you're done and then add another circle here so you can continue doing that but those are the two settings to review you want it behind the text and you want it to be a fixed position um, what that does is then it doesn't shift things all over the place if you lose your circle and it doesn't allow you to move it anymore because that's the most common problem that i see students to have with this um, or even adults is if you lose it and you can't get you can't get it back to be able to move it or resize it um, the easiest thing to do is just press Control z as in zebra okay and you should get your handles back and then be able to resize it and things like that so Control z is a shortcut for undo um, and that skill actually converts over to adobe and many other platforms but um, Control z will do that for you all right enjoy